Start. There we go. Hey guys! I haven't made a repair video in a long while, so I thought this might be a good opportunity. I just wanted to show it to you before I got work, work got to working and fixing it. Uh, it's an old Weed Eater 1, Rider Mower, uh, 26 inch cut with a single blade, so there's just one big blade under there. This thing's just a glorified lawnmower. It's got like a 7 foot pound or whatever, it's 8 foot pound of torque lawnmower engine on it and it has basic slip drive set up just like a snapper um, of the same style you've probably seen those out there before well this thing works the same way and uh, i picked this up on a local buy and sell website the guy wanted ten dollars for it that's right guys ten dollars he says it started and it ran but it wouldn't go anywhere so, uh, he said the transmission was had broken um i noticed when i was picking it up that um the frame seems broken guys there's there's this metal frame here that's basically supports um the rest of the machine you can see the other two pieces of frame right there they run up under the seat and come down there's one on each side and then they run down into the back here and i would assume that underneath of this plate where the motor's mounted they attach to this this rear frame section you can actually see the end of the pipe um right there at the back of the machine so it runs all the way along but what i wanted to show you guys i'm going to try and hold the camera and do this is the um the pipe if, if you rock the back section of the machine this frame pipe does not seem to be connected to the back of the the back of the machine so watch i'm gonna give this a rock see see it comes back and it drops forward comes back and it drops forward and also what happens is there's supposed to be a gap between the this plastic shroud and the motor and you can see when you rock it back there's your gap and you let it go and it kind of closes so so something's broke i think on both sides where this frame tube comes down and attaches it's broken underneath and i don't know if it's broken off or if the bolts have torn out or whatever but what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo these one, two, three bolts. And on the other side, I've got the same thing. I've got, what was it, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four. And I think we can just lift this engine right off because it's the slip drive disc style drive. So there's no, there's no uh, pulley shaft uh, and belt pulley assembly that holds this engine down i think we'll be able to lift this off and tilt it one way or the other and see inside of this uh, rear frame box where the, the the gadgets and gears and chains all operate what's broken and whether we can weld it or slip a sleeve over it or bolt it or whatever we got to do to make this thing stand back up tall and strong and uh should be back to life then we'll give it a clean and service and we will post this thing on the marketplace and i bet you will be able to flip it for three or four hundred bucks i'll turn the camera back on in a sec when i get those bolts loose okay guys so i got those there's actually only two one two there's two more on the other side so i got those four bolts loose and as soon as i cracked the last one loose this thing really started to fall apart the the front end kind of dropped like that i had to take this back plastic piece off there were just a pair of half inch bolts at the back because it was kind of sunk into these little grooves right here now i don't know if you can see it there's some light but there's a spring uh, right there and the spring is connected to this plate and it's you can see it down through there it pulls the back of the transmission up i guess that's something to do with with tension for the drive um i'm gonna have to try and defeat that spring to get this off or i'm thinking if i can pop off these these clips one two then i should be able to lift this right up uh, without that wire getting caught like that and then you can kind of see down underneath down underneath and i can already tell you i see what the problem is just in this first view the weld's broken you can see it was right there it's um the frame tube was welded to that piece of metal and it's the welds broke so it's probably one on each side yeah you can see the other one right there 
there used to be a weld there as well these pipes used to be up underneath of those those 90 degree pieces and they were welded so what i'm just going to do is undo this wiring so i can kind of tilt this thing back out of the way and then we're going to put a couple blocks under this machine and see if we can uh, maybe perhaps undo those two flange pieces that you see right there that one right there and that flange piece weld them back onto this frame bolt them back onto the box at the back and then drop this motor back on and hopefully we should have a uh we should have a working launch tractor to flip I'll be right back oh i thought i'd show you this one more time so we managed to flip that back we're just going to leave that like so there you can see that spring that we were going to have to battle with and i'd rather not so we just leave it hanging but as you can see right there we've got a broken weld where this pipe was welded to and as well you got a broken weld there and same thing on this side guys you got a broken weld right there and you got a broken weld right there it used to be attached you'll see it snapped off so i'm just going to try and pick this up with some blocks i'm going to try and tilt this backwards and get this pipe back in line with said bracket on both sides and we're going to break out good old good old weldy weldy there and we're going to reattach those pipes to that bracket we'll probably add a few more welds in the middle maybe we'll do uh, one two three four one two three four so this doesn't break again and then simple enough we're going to throw this motor back down uh put that belt back on this belt popped off guys when i uh when i laid this back it was kind of sitting inside of this pulley it's popped off so we're going to throw the belt back on connect our wires back up add some fuel and give this thing a drive around the parking lot we'll see if we fix it i'm just going to get this kind of lined up get the welder set up and i'll turn the camera back on all right guys so we got that kind of jacked up here with this uh screwdriver and we managed to pull the frame portion up high enough that we can take our piece that's broken off which you can see right there and right there and we can kind of line it up sort of right there where it used to be and uh, i think what we'll be able to do is is grind off some of that paint right there and right there and weld that back together and then as well what i'm going to do is i'm going to grind a little bit here and here and i'm going to weld in those two spots so we have a little bit more material holding this thing together then we should just be able to pull that screwdriver out of there and this will drop down onto that box and i can put the, the one bolt in the middle that holds this on and then we can throw the motor plate back down and put the two bolts that go on the outsides that hold the plate down to this arm to the frame uh, of course after we do the exact same thing on the other side so i'm going to try and set up my uh my tripod i haven't used in a long time so i can get a welding shot in this video for you guys okay we did a little wire wheeling along the edge here and along the old welds in the center and off to the side and I'm going to try and get a little tack well going here so you guys can see. So that piece seems to fit almost perfectly right there. that's on there now what I think I'm gonna do is redo that weld redo that weld and then I'm gonna just put a couple in the middle
just let that cool down a little bit and uh, then we'll turn this thing around we're going to do this job exactly the same over here on the other side so there they are you guys it's our first little group of welds and we got the same kind of thing going on over here so i actually never did unbolt that plate i left that center bolt in there just lifted the frame up and it lined up pretty good with the old welds I've rebolted this one and now things are things are back where they're supposed to be. Uh, this rear end's tight. It ain't going anywhere. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is let these cool down. I'm gonna throw on some spray paint, then we're gonna take this motor plate, we're gonna flip it back over, pop on pop on that belt, flip that over, and uh, try and get our one, two, three, four bolts reinstalled to hold this down then we're gonna add some gas some oil try and fire this thing up and if she runs good we're gonna wash her and post her i'll be right back so there you have it guys there's that uh gap between the engine and the plastic shroud i was talking about in the beginning of the video you can see it's there now and uh we just got our one bolt oops two bolt and two on the other side bolted and we connected this i noticed when i picked it up that the owner had this disconnected i believe this is the safety shut off for the carburetor solenoid um or sorry for the coil the ignition coil uh, connection so when he has this set up so that when you get off of it while it's running it doesn't shut down we're probably going to connect that back up once we get this thing running to make sure that the safeties work properly but we'll leave it off for now just so we can get it up and running what i'm going to do is throw some gas in it i checked the oil after having the engine tipped and the oil actually doesn't look too bad so we're not going to worry about that but we're going to dump some gas in we're going to try and start this thing up and we're going to see if it performs its functions so i got her out of the shop here the battery's kind of dead or weak so i don't know if it's going to start but let's give it a try oh. so we're going to step on our little clutch Nope. Like I said, that battery is pretty weak, so let's give her a let's give her a pull. Let's see if she'll start. There we go. Pretty good. Brakes work. blade works oh this one you gotta have the key in cut mode blades working Awesome guys so there's a couple little things you have to have this key in reverse cut mode in order for the blade to work so I think there's probably a safety 
maybe the seat safety that's not engaged. We'll figure that out. And uh, other than that, other than that, the uh, the blade spins up good. The transmission forward reverse works good. The steering works. The the clutch brake and the parking brake right there works. It stays on just like that. I think we got ourselves a champion. Um, what I'm probably going to do now is give this thing a good little wash, post it, and uh, then I'm going to just take a quick check of the wires and the switches and make sure that they're, they're hooked up and they're being actuated properly because I bet you that's the reason why we got to turn that thing on to reverse because when you, when you switch it to reverse mode, what it does is it ignores uh, the, blade, the, the blade safety switch or the seat switch. I can't remember. Basically, it doesn't want you to fall off while in reverse mowing. It wants you to know that you're in reverse mowing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure that out. We'll get her posted, we'll get her sold and move on to the next project. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry, I'm not making many videos lately, but I'm gonna try to get back to it. Uh, subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.